Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the cheer list you didn't know you needed, but we all needed to know. The best gym bangers, gym rappers, gym music in the game. Now, me and Sebastian Seabass here have made a list of all really good rappers. So don't be offended, we're in the upper echelon. We're already in the big leagues. So don't be offended to some of the lower ranked lyric, lyrical geniuses here. They're the worst of the best. No one's bad here. Let's dive in. 3SB.co for all your clothing needs, man. New drops all summer long. We got an accessory drop coming real soon. We'll tease you out. Check goodcompanydiscord.com if you want to get involved. I'm Solomon Mike as always. Let's dive in. First on the list. Now, I think this is a crowd favorite, a fan favorite, but honestly, he's never really, for lack of a better word, touched me. 21 Savage has never been my guy. The Drake album, there's some really good bangers he's got on there. Some good hype gym music. But 21, for some reason, is just never connected with me. And so for that, I'm going to throw 21 in the I-8. But again, we're already in the upper echelon. It's not like it's bad. He's just not my exact cup of tea. When you, well, I've never put 21 on my playlist when I'm all alone in my car. When I ask if, someone they're, if they're a fan of music or if they really like it, it's when you put it on alone in your car. We're going with the classic here, man. Just out of straight respect. Tupac Shakur. Now he's got slow jams, he's got love songs, he's got sad music, he's got angry music, he's got fight music. He has a, obviously a big old arsenal of songs. He recorded a lot of music in his, in his medium-sized career, RIP. His, uh, his passion behind some of his hitters automatically throws him in the banger list. You can feel what he's thinking, and that's what I love in a, in a song. When I can hear a, a rapper, an artist come in, mid-song on a remix or into a verse and it switches the whole energy and you just start bopping that's when i know like damn like that hits and tupac has that in so many man but this next artist was at the peak as i was diving deep into basketball hip-hop culture growing up becoming a man myself and that's 50 cent get rich or die trying top to bottom is one of the best albums all time and one of the best gym bangers you can just let it play man that's a no skipper that's a no skipper. And to have a no skipper in modern day hip hop is insane. Just on that album alone, let alone G-Unit, let alone all the business stuff he does, I'm putting him in the bop. He, he, not an absolute banger, but he's got a bop, man. Because some of his other music actually isn't my favorite. Um, he's got a couple songs that absolutely go, but Get Rich or Die Trying is an insane gym album. He's just a really good gym rapper, man. Some of my favorite songs, Came With The Posse is one of my PR songs that I've listened to a long time, really gets me hyped up, feel real good. He's probably in the bop. We'll throw him in the bop, which is for us, sorry, ladies and gentlemen. The tier list goes, banger, S tier. Bop, A tier. Jam is our B tier. I is our C tier, then D and absolute trash. And because we made the list, there's probably no trash involved. I don't know, man. I, I Just because, again, we're in the upper echelon, I'm actually going to throw Ace Hood in the jam. Baby Keem, up and comer. He's got some gym boppers. He's got some really good uh, hype playlists, but he's also like a lyrical genius. So sometimes when you're so lyrical, you're sending different messages, which is part of being an artist. And so it's always not on the gym hype. As an artist, you know, he's way up there, man. I think lyrically, dude's got a ton of talent. But as a gym artist or a PR artist, he's probably going to go above Savage, but in the eye. I like Baby Keem. I'm a big fan. Another absolute legend. The issue with Biggie again, and I think it's kind of like Baby Keem, is when you're so lyrical, and that's what made Biggie who he was, is his flow and his wordplay so insane his storytelling, that he tells so many different stories, they're not all gym bangers. Again, upper echelon in anyone's, in anyone's list, top 10 in anyone's list, but in the gym PR banger, he's probably just in the jam. He's probably just in the jam. There's just not as many extra hype, get her done type music. And that's what you need when you're about to go for a deadlift PR. Up until recent, it might be the best gym rapper all time. He's definitely in my coin flip conversation and that's DMX. When you talk about passion delivery, when you talk about hype music, when you talk about angry, grrr, hoo, hoo, where my dog's at? That's pretty good, huh? That was an angry chihuahua. <laughs> that was an angry chihuahua with rabies. Arr, hoo, hoo. DMX is in the banger tier for sure. Next, everyone's favorite, and I am a fan, don't get me wrong, Drake, the sixth god. Drake is such a versatile artist. He's got 
probably the biggest arsenal of music in humankind, really. He, he's touched every genre, every style of music lyrically. Um, the man can spit bars. And just from the volume of library that he has, it's really hard to not throw him in the banger list. But there's just not as many Drake bangers that connect with me. There's a lot of Drake songs that connect with me and lyrically in his early days, man, he straight had bars, but I'm probably gonna throw him in the bop, which again, this is really good. We got 50 Cent, Get Richard Die Trying in the bop, right? So to throw Drake in the bop, I think is still a, a node to the sixth god. Gucci Mane, <laughs> Gucci Mane has like one song that I love and the rest of it, you know, give or take. He's got some, he's got some good songs because other really good artists feature on there. There's there's a early interview with Wayne when people are talking about like best rappers in the game and someone says Gucci and Lil Wayne's uh, reaction is so funny. Gucci who? Gucci man? Hmm. What's on the list? Eminem went on the Shout out my nigga Gucci. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out my nigga Gucci. Gucci for this list, although he is a living legend, Gucci for this list is in the D. I'm sorry, Gucci. Uh-oh. I think we got another crowd favorite. Maybe the youngest in the game. Now, it doesn't look like he hits the gym as hard as he should, although he is kind of jacked just naturally. And by the way, you can hit me up, man. I'll train you for free. We'll get you set right on your nutrition. We'll get you, we'll get you set in the gym. You probably deadlift 500 pounds if you put your mind to it, because I know you're dedicated. And that's Mr. Bust Down Roly Avalanche. Kai Sinat, for those that don't know, internet personality, part-time rapper. I think he's only got a couple songs. So shout out to Kai Sinat. We'll throw you in there with some legends, dog. We'll throw you in the jam. I think you're just scratching the surface on your musical talent. Let's get you in the gym, buddy. If you want to get jacked, let me know. Hit my line. Another, another complicated one, man. Kendrick Lamar. Such an artistry talent, a real artist to the core. I feel like your pure gym music is gonna get diluted by your other artistry. I'll probably throw him in the top of jams. Someone we didn't mention here and isn't on the list that's probably in the similar category is J. Cole. And I'm a huge J. Cole fan. Cole and Kendrick are two of my top guys. And they do have some good gym boppers. Don't, don't get me wrong. They got some bangers that go in the gym, but the resume is so thick. You know, their gym boppers are like 10% of what they've done. Where you take DMX, and Jim Boppers are 90% of what he's done. And that's kind of what we're categorizing this on. The one and only Meek Millie. When I ran my first Shaco programs, when I ran my first Smolov programs that everyone's gone through, all on my own, no one's powerlifting in the entire planet, man. I'm talking 2009, 2010, 2011. I think is when uh, like the first Dream Chasers and Nightmare and all those albums came out and I was absolutely blaring them through my corded headphones because I don't think we had no non-corded headphones. Meek Millie's top of the list for me, man. I'm throwing him in the banger. Still a go-to when I'm talking about hitting a big PR when you want to get a little hype and get in a good mood. The passion behind his delivery, let alone um, the beats themselves and the lyrics he's spitting. Uh, I'm a big Meek Mill fan. Mama! Migos is good, bro. A good gym music, almost top to bottom. Again, kind of like a DMX or, or whatever, like 80, 90% of their songs fit in a gym setting. And when we're talking about gym PR playlists, man, you probably got to throw the Migos in the bangers. You probably have to throw them in the, in the S tier. You can make a playlist with all these artists and make a really good gym playlist. But if you were just taking the resume of one artist, the Migos has a very full library of PR songs, if you ask me. They're not all mega mega PR songs but they're all hitters they're all gonna get you hyped the, the next two are maybe my favorite artists all time all time if you mix in like Bill Withers and a couple of the OGs Outkast is one of my favorite artists top to bottom all time Andre 3k is my favorite rapper of all time all time and it's gonna hurt but they probably can't go in the banger gym list again they're such creative artists and they push the boundaries and edges in so many different ways within their own talents that don't fit a PR situation. For that case, man, they're actually gonna be neighbors to bust down Rolly Avalanche. Now again, I think they're freaking insane. They're amazing. For the PR list, they're probably not there. I want to slip this one in. We all love Pop Smoke, man, RIP. Pop Smoke is probably in the banger tier himself for the gym tier list. Drill music goes so hard. Um, but I want to put you guys on a little bit. I don't know if you know Raw Swish. R-A-H-S-W-I-S-H. Ross Swish came up with pop. He's a little less popular 
um, but still making music. And one of my favorite gym artists, Raw Swish, Pop Smoke. They got some songs together for sure. They're in the banger category. So if you need some stuff to add to your list, I love that on TikTok when guys are like, gym song you, or new PR song you never heard of that you need. I'm trying to put you guys on, man. Raw Swish, turn them up. Bangers, bangers in the gym. Lil Uzi Vert. I, I wasn't a big fan of Vert Uzi when he, when he first came on the scene, kind of in that dead middle of the emo rap stuff, the mumble rap, just wasn't my cup of tea. He's shown his artistry both in like fashion, content, and his music growth. He's got a lot of great music, but for the gym, he's probably going down with his homie, Bust Down Rolly Avalanche. I'll throw him in the jams. Actually, I'll probably throw him in the aight. I just don't think he has enough gym bangers. Uzi's not aight, Uzi's amazing, but he probably just doesn't have enough gym bangers. So he's going down to the aight. Maybe my best favorite rapper all time. I already said Outkast, Andre 3K, but this is my other favorite rapper all time. Listen and been a fan for over two decades. We see F baby, Lil Wayne, his, talk about the library of music this guy has. Not only has his career been one of the longest, but he puts out more music than anybody, man. And, and suppose he's got thousands of songs he hasn't even released. Maybe Jim Bangers are only 50% of what he's made, because he's made some more slow songs and has features on R&B songs, but he's made 50% of his library is already more music than the rest of these guys already. So it's insane. And I gotta throw Wayne up there in the banger. Huge Lil Wayne fan. Ladies and gentlemen, that's it. PR Bangers Gym Playlist. Bust down Rolly Avalanche. I appreciate y'all for listening, tuning in. Brand new content every single day. Be sure to like and subscribe. Please share this out with your friends. It helps so, so much. I'm Solid Mike. Be a part of something bigger than yourself, man. Community and culture as always. Catch you in the next one. Later, y'all.